What's up guys, JJ here, and we're outside today because we've got to work on our pool pond today. Um, we've added hundreds of cichlids to it, so now we've got to upgrade our filtration. I want to build this filter for like 20 bucks, so stay tuned. So I didn't talk about filtration much when I set this up because I just put in a pump with a really small filter on it. But now that we've got a couple hundred cichlids in here, I've got to upgrade it. Let me show you what we're looking at now. So this pump had like a little filter sleeve on it and it was working fine until it wasn't because now the bio load is just too much. We've got to get more bio media on it. And all we need for this build is this tote here that cost me like 10 bucks. Got a heavy duty one at Lowe's. We've got some lava rock and a little bit of filter floss. So total, the supplies were right at about 20 bucks. So we've got holes in the lid. There's actually a grid pattern on it, so it's kind of nice to just be able to evenly space them. Now I gotta have a space for the top of my pump to go out and a spot for my cord also. So I'm going to get a bigger hole for those. So now I've got a hole for the output here and I've got a hole for my cord. I think that's big enough. Let's see if the plug fits through. Yeah, there we go, that'll work. And before we put that pump in, what we're gonna do is cut some filter floss the size of this box. So, I always have filter floss around the house. I did a video about filter hacks, if you wanna check that out. But it's only about five bucks if you don't have it, and it comes with a lot. So all I need to do is cut this the size of the lid. So now we pull our cord through the hole, set our pump inside, and we'll start building the layers of our media basket here. So check it out, we've got the pump in there, we've got our cord going through the hole, we've got one layer of filtration already, and I'll show you guys what else we're going to do. So I have some crushed lava rock, it's the rock with like the most surface area, it's a more porous rock, so it means more space for beneficial bacteria. We're going to dump that in as our bottom layer here. So now for this middle layer, you can really go with a lot of different things. I just happen to have some extra used filter media. And I think I'm going to cut some extra filter floss as well. So nothing complicated in here. We've got the lava rock for our first base. I have some older cycle media that I just pulled out of a different filter and I cut one more layer of filter floss just to put on top and keep it kind of flat and even. Now one thing I'm going to do that you don't have to do is I'm going to put a hose on the end of this so let me get some tubing and we'll cut that real quick. There we go, now that'll go right up through the lid. And I think we can put this together. Mm -hmm. 
boom easy peasy there's our cord there's our output and we're ready to test it before I put it in the water though let me explain how it works it's not too different from maybe a sump setup or kind of a bog filter it's kind of in between those two so basically we've got this pump sitting in here right and what it's gonna do is suck water from outside the box that's why we have all these holes in the top of the lid so it's gonna suck this water that we need to filter through the holes through this first line of media through another line of media and then all our biological filtration down there in the lava rocks and pump it right back out the top and I think this is going to be way more way more filtration with the same amount of circulation and we should have a nice clean pond in a few hours so I almost put this in dry like a dummy thankfully the box floats and it kind of reminded me that we need to sink this and then we can put that lid on and plug it in all right, we're plugged in, and there she goes. I'm really hoping this makes a big difference. We'll check back in a couple hours and see what the water looks like. Okay, it's been one day, and it's already looking better. I can actually see my fish again. Let me see those guys in there. Now, these are... They're not adults. They're juvenile cichlids. Like, I grow them up to juvenile size, and I put them in here. But now at least it's clear enough for me to see them when I feed them. The sun is really bright. Yeah, I actually really enjoy sitting out here and feeding my fish because there's so many of them. Um, you don't always have a tank inside where you can watch 100 plus fish feed at once. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, can't see them yet. Let's give it a second. There they go. But I guess I should show you guys that this thing is actually working. Because that pond, it's 100 degrees and sunny every day down here. So we're always going to have some green water. It is definitely less murky. But let's pop this open. And I can show you that we are collecting the dirt and debris in the water. But yeah, look at that. It's done all that work in 24 hours. That's nasty. All that goop it got out of the water. So we definitely got our mechanical and our biological filtration. And I think this is going to be great for the pond overall. But there you go, guys. That's our $20 DIY pond filter, and um, I'm really enjoying it. I think it's going to be good, get us through the summer, and I'm so excited to get more fish out here and get more breeding projects going on. So if you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.